Welcome to In-Depth. It's been a part of the Evansville landscape from the very beginning, rich in history, but fraught at one time with decline and crime, withering on the vine. But no more. Haney's Corner is now in the middle of a renaissance. During the next few days, it will be the scene of a major festival with a unique twist. Some sand, make that a lot of sand. It will be Tiki Week, and it started actually today. And joining me tonight is Scott Shimmick of Sauced and Moriah Rose of Moe's House. Thank you very much for uh, being with us tonight. Ten years ago, Haney's Corner, its future was still very much in doubt. Uh, did you ever even imagine that it would be where it is today, then? I didn't think there was going to be a sandbox out there. No. I'll tell yeah. you that. <laughs> or a big beach. We just said that on the way over here. Who'd I ever thought? And there are now, what, about uh, more than 11 to 12 bars and restaurants? There's seven of us, six, six seven of us for sure, and hopefully mm -hmm. more to come. So. And, and both of you really had to take a chance. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the catalyst that said, I want to do this, but I want to do it here at Haney's Corner? Sure. Go ahead. Yeah, for me, it was just such a welcoming place. I, I kind of started at Sauced with Scott. He took a chance on me, and it was just super, super welcoming. And I, I have loved being down there. Been kind of all over Evansville, but that was a place that just I felt right at home. And I feel like a lot of people kind of feel that way about yeah. about the place. So it's it's just been to me a super, super welcoming Scott, space. You've been there about what uh, since '96? Yeah, we're working on about 23 years now. Okay, compare it now with then. Sure. Uh, I mean, it was dimly lit area, very um, scary to be around almost. I mean, we were bringing around some wedding receptions and things like that at a place. It was called Kirby's Private Dining back then. Um, and now it's called the Ballroom at Sauced, and we're still doing that. But um, now we've got, you know, like Mo said a minute ago, we've got seven bars, four different restaurants, um, a very good vibe going on in this neighborhood. Well, there are so many festivals in the Tri-State, and they do a lot of good for the region in many ways. But this event, Tiki Week, is giving back, it, yep. paying it forward. Uh, tell me about, especially for kids uh, going into the school year. Mo. Yeah, so the it, what's fun, I said the other day, it's kind of like a, a kickback to going back to school for everybody. And um, on Sunday, we will be doing a, a big give back to the EVSC Foundation. Um, try, we've got a mini school bus coming down to kind of stock the stock the bus is kind of the deal um, for the entire week every all the restaurants and bars down there kind of created a, a tiki week menu um, any item that is ordered off that that menu um, 10 percent of the sales are going back into hcad so it kind of helps doing those thanksgiving dinners that we put on and the christmas giveaways and just really keeps us being able to do neat stuff like these things so yeah, and we just saw a video of all that sent 60 tons 60 tons. how'd you pull that off three dump trucks full uh brian wildeman's a genius <laughs> is what happens i mean he really does a great job he brought uh, uh nice barriers for it brought in coordinated the whole thing um, three dump truck loads later, we've got a beach on the street. And Funk, Funk, yeah, Funk in the, in the city, city was our sponsor for the Sandbox. So they're a huge part of kind of, they've been down there 18 plus years. Right. Um, they were a huge help. So Haney's Corner has always been uh, well considered an arts district. Uh, but it does not have the studios it used to have down there. Would you like to see that change, or where are we going now forward on that? Sure, sure. absolutely. We've got one right now, uh, 22 Jefferson, mm -hmm. and uh, we're always looking to um, entice young artists to come down. That's what Funk in the City is all about. That's what First Fridays are all about. Uh, we've got more than 45 vendors for First Fridays, more than 80 for, for the uh, uh, Funk in the Cities. And um, I mean, that's just trying to bring art down to the neighborhood, trying to uh, um, have these people think that, you know, this is a very cool neighborhood, good vibe, every, everything would be great if they have a studio down there. Right, and there uh, were studios, but uh, many left. How do you get those uh, people back, Mo? You know, I just kind of, I think making a, a destination place yeah. where people kind of want to be and want to mm -hmm. come and be a part of, so that's kind of been a big part of it. I mean, people looking and, and finding a space that fits them. I mean, a lot of those houses and different things are coming, coming up, but it may not be in, in the right location for them. So kind of waiting it out and figuring out the best spot for them is maybe their best 
best thing to do. But that is, it is truly a neighborhood now. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about the people who live in the Haney's Corner area. Lots Describe of young that. professionals. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, there's, there's new people moving in all the time. Uh, over the past three years, four years, we've had probably at least 50 new constructions in the neighborhood uh, or the surrounding neighborhood as well. Um, and, and it's younger, uh, professional, and uh, people that like to go have a good time in, in, in Haney's Corner. Stronger connection now between Haney's Corner and downtown? For sure. I, I mean, I feel like people are coming from all over. There's always people walking. Um, most of our staff, I feel like, lives yeah. down there or, or close where they can walk. So a lot of the, and that's for all the restaurants and or different locations. It's a lot of people that live there and can walk to Maine or, or back down. And Second Street's been a huge kind of help for that. It just and being open and, and being able to get easily from one to the next. And Tiki Fest will uh, run through Sunday. I got just mm -hmm. one final question. You got all that sand down. How are you going to get it out of there? Are you just going to leave it there for a while? I mean, <laughs> it's going to go on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday uh, it'll be gone. So Friday they're doing a sandcastle building competition. Mm -hmm. Competition HCAD's putting that mm -hmm. on. Saturday we're doing the survivor game, so we'll we'll crown an ultimate survivor. And Sunday it'll be picked up and hauled out. Well, uh, the weather is cooperating, especially in the last two weeks with so many festivals going on. So Mariah Rose and Scott Shemmick, thanks a lot for coming out and Thank talking you. about Thank you, this.